So we're looking at a project today for the Lithium CRZ and Civic BMS boards. Um, so I'm using one of my OBD devices and uh, this one has a CAN board uh, fitted to it. So uh, here's one I prepared earlier. So this has the CAN board in and it also has some new connectors just powered off a standard 12 volt wall wart uh, adapter and basically what it does is it plugs directly into the battery pack without the need for the car or the ECU uh, etc and it can talk directly to the BMS boards on the side here we have the four BMS boards A, B, C, D which you'll be familiar with and basically allows us to interrogate the pack um, with it on the bench like this so we can see we've got a total voltage of 143 the highest cell is 3.6 the lowest is 3.58 and the average is 3.59. The deviation is 20 millivolts across the pack, so this pack's pretty healthy. Um, and um, it just tells us also which cell is the highest, number 31, and which cell is the lowest, number 5. Uh, and we can do some other things with this. So if I uh, go right here, we can also listen, look at the individual boards. You'll see this is board A and there's the 10 cell voltages. I press the center and it goes into board B and board C. And board D, and uh, there you are. You can see it's talking, talking to the uh, talking to the packs now, and it's just getting the voltages etc. from the um, BMS. So this should hopefully help us. Um, I sort of quickly check packs. Um, a customer in America has got lots of these packs, and they wanted a quick way of checking them. So the, by plugging this in, then you can see whether the cells are an acceptable voltage. Uh, or if there's a problem and also hopefully I'm hoping going to hope to improve the software so that it will actually detect the bad BMS boards I haven't fiddled around with that yet it will obviously detect a cell which is low so if you've got a blown MOSFET for instance on one of the boards and it's constantly draining in the cell that obviously cell would show up very clearly on here with the voltages um, so anyway still looking at the BMS boards and hopefully I'm going to look at the data that they send back from a known faulty one. I want to try and use that so that I can show the BMS boards which are confirmed as faulty by the system you know, on the little screen here as you see. So that's what it does. But it can uh, plug. It's got two plugs. So it's got this plug here. And this can plug directly into the pack here. And it can read all of the voltages at once. Just resets itself. Now you can see it's got the total voltages. If I press right here, you'll see it's now reading the voltages and the counter is ticking up here. This is the number of packets it's receiving from the various boards here. And also it's got four individual BMS connectors so you can actually plug the boards directly into the device using the single connector. But it's probably just as easy to use the main connector on the battery packs and then you get the four BMS board information blocks at once. So that's what I'm working on at the moment and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully you still need to do a bit more work on the software just to tidy it up and as, he, as I say identify the bad BMS boards with the typical faults that we see on these particular packs.